Yeah. So uh, for today's session, uh, it's going to be using, I'm going to be using questions from um, the Cambridge uh, F2BCE um, exam. Okay. So it's quite similar with what we have in uh, the SPM format. It's just that for F2BCE, it's mostly on uh, the use of pictures. They don't give you prompts. They just give you pictures to help you for part two. Part three is very, uh, it's very similar with what we have. They have graphic organizer for you to discuss with your partners. And then uh, you are going to uh, arrive to a decision together. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to start the breakout room now. And today I will be explaining about the advantages and the advantages of buying fresh produce in each location. So first photograph, first picture shows um, the picture for supermarket and the second picture shows picture for speed market. Um, so in supermarket, we the sources, the fruits and vegetables come from, they may vary. So they may come from imported, they may come from local farmers or um, they may also be imported. So in straight market, we see they come from mostly local farmers. So what I believe the advantages of buying veg of fruits and vegetables in the supermarket is that we, um, use it, uh, that we have a wide range of choices as they come from a lot of sources, vegetables, they may they may be frozen or not and some are crops from overseas so buyers get to choose from the buyers get to choose a lot of uh, types of fruits for example um, strawberries blueberries apples and grapes that we cannot find locally uh, we cannot find locally so we can try them and so and they are also good so from the state market, we see as they come from mostly local farmers, it is a way for us citizens to support local, uh, support um, the agriculture sector. Um, by buying from street market, we are uh, indirectly supporting them and this can boost the agriculture sector of our country. And they are also fresh and, um, and that's all. Um, saya terus sambung. Okay. Uh, for me, I think I would prefer buying vegetable and fruits in the street market because uh, most of the farmers in the local area don't use don't use an 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 organic fertilizer that would affect our health rather than large company that use non-organic fertilizers to, to produce a lot of vegetables that are unhe unhealthy to us. Um, in the in the first picture, it shows that uh, hiking, uh, mountain hiking, will give us, eh, will give, eh, uh, <laughs> let me that. Um, what is enjoyable about each activity? In the first activity, we, uh, we would give, eh, we would. We, we could enjoy the uh, scenery of the mountain and it, and we could challenge ourselves and we could challenge our physical uh, physical abilities on how far that how on how far uh, our 
physical abilities would would have their limits. Uh, another thing is it will give uh, it will give uh, give us dopamine that and adrenaline that give, that will give us uh, that will give us new new experience when we 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 are hiking one we, when we are hiking the mountains for the second activity it doesn't it doesn't It doesn't challenge our physical abilities, but it challenge our mental and IQ to solve puzzles like crossword or Sudoku. And another thing about uh, these activities, it is it can be it can be done in any places and it doesn't need a lot of stamina to do it. Uh, Adam, let me start first. To reduce traffic congestion, I I think that the government should build more cycle paths. This encourage cyclists to utilize the roads in order for them to go to their everyday desired destination. At the same time, you should reduce the number of vehicles using the roads as they find cycling an alternative. An alternative. Adam next. Um I I think the government should charge charge all the cars to enter the town center. Uh, it would give the it would give the drivers a second thought to enter the town center by using a car. They would they would they would think that it would be. It would be more more cheaper to use a bicycle or walk to enter the town center by using a public transport such as LRT and and such as LRT. Um, uh, how about you, Mansal? Um, so I think that um, introducing car free days is a great way to reduce traffic congestion. Why? Because I think that the, um, the citizens get to opt out for other ways for them to go to their workplace, to their schools, to schools and to um, shopping malls during holidays simply by using public transportation such as the LRT or the buses or they can even walk to their workplaces. Um, next, Adam, what do you think? Uh, I think the government should ban all cars from center to prevent traffic jams that would lead to That it will lead to global warming because they will use their cars so often that it will give it will make the air from from center to pollute and how about you Ayman? Uh, 
Um, so I think lastly, I think that coupling with neighbors is also a great way to reduce traffic congestion. I believe that it it kills two birds at it kills two birds at one stone because it does not only hello, can you hear me? Okay. It does not only reduce it does not only reduce the traffic congestion but at the same time um st stronger the bond of relationship between our neighbors or colleagues that we couple with next adam uh for my last uh, opinion uh the government should also pedestrian 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 Pedestrian, pedestrianized town center, so that, uh, so that uh, all of the town, all of the town center in our country would, would, would have would have no vehicle, except for. Except for bicycle and pedestrians that 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 would give that would give benefits to to the country that to reduce the traffic congestion and and give and it it will improve the health of each of the individual in the town center um in all Okay, so <laughs> Adam, what do you think is the most effective way to reduce traffic congestion? Um, for me, I think it will, I think it will best to introduce car free days because I, I think introduce car free days should be the most effective at reducing traffic because most of the individuals will, will most of the in individuals will cooperate to reduce the traffic congestion So, um, I think I agree with Adam's opinion. Why? Because I believe that most of us use car, uh, use car and this problem um, is awful and is affecting most town centers. So, introducing car free days is actually a great way to solving that problem, that issue, by us using other ways instead of car and, at this, uh, and thus uh, reducing traffic congestion. If there, I check you. Uh, yes, Richard. Okay, um, uh, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, I will the, uh, the first person to talk. Okay, um, 
so I will talk about uh, the the parade. Okay. Um, the first picture is the main potato blossom festival. Uh, the festival is celebrated by the uh, Aristo every community of Aristo County in Maine, USA. Uh, the community celebrates the uh, the region's uh, agricultural heritage, which is uh, the potato, and honors their veteran service to the country to the country in the festival. Uh, the festival is so enjoyable because there are so many people of Arusto County will came out to go to the parade with beautiful and uh, and flowery attires and also vehicles such as the tractors. Okay. Uh, the second picture is the Atoll Highlanders Parade and Gathering. Um, it is celebrated at the Black Castle in Scotland. Uh, the Atoll Highlanders is the only remaining private army in Europe and they act as the personal bodyguards to the Duke of Atoll. So the parade is so fascinating because there will be the marching of the Atoll Highlanders and also the pipe bands at the Black Castle and people feel excited about it because it's only once a year to ce celebrate. Uh, main Potato Blossom Festival. Uh, Atoll Highlanders Parade. Uh. Uh, I think that I would prefer the second second parade. Uh, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, so I am the candidate B, and here we have two pictures. Uh, the the pictures uh, show the parents with children in two different situations. The first picture, uh, the picture is about uh, the parent and the children is uh, observing something small on the ground. I think that uh, both of them. He play, uh, was playing uh, football at the field and suddenly one of them uh, discovered something interesting on the ground. And from my point of view, I think that the parent is teaching his children about uh, small creatures that live on the ground like insects so that the children have new knowledge about uh, the other creatures that live on on the ground and as for the picture too uh, the picture is about the parent and the children are walking at the beach and it seems like they don't wear any shoes to enjoy the texture of the sand and it looks like the children is very happy and I think that the parent is talking to his children about his experience at the beach uh, when he was a child. Uh, that's all. So, okay, um, <clears throat> to losing weight, um, we can join a gym 
to lose our weight because by by joining a gym we can burn uh, we can burn down our fat in our body and also we can strengthen our muscles and then that we also can learning we also can learn how to exercise better by the guidance of the coaches at the gym Uh, okay, uh, I uh, I also think by cutting down on sugar can help losing weight because um, one of the factors that cause us increase our weight is because of the excess sugar that we have in our body. So by a healthy diet and cutting down on sugar is really helpful for us to losing weight. Uh, how about you, Akif? I agree with you, Denise. Uh, I also think that uh, by going to swimming pool is also uh, an activity that will burn, that will losing our weight. Because by going to swimming pool, uh, it can strengthen our muscles, especially in at the at the foot part, and also uh, it can. Uh, we can and also our our respiratory system will be better and strengthened because we can learn how to how to how to breathe well in uh, during swimming activities how about you denise uh, okay uh, i agree with that and i also think that uh, to lose some weight, uh, we don't have to eat breakfast, but sometimes we uh, actually need to take uh, a small breakfast uh, for our for our day because we need to use a lot of energy. But uh, but by skipping the breakfast, I think that uh, we can lose some weight because we will burn more calories throughout the day. So, how about you, Akif? I think it is a great idea. Um, but, in my opinion, I think by considering a, a, a fat removal surgery will be the easiest way to remove our fat in our body. Because, um, by, by having a surgery, uh, it takes a short period of time to lose our weight than doing exercise and other activities that will make that will take uh, a long a long term to sh to show the results to us what do you think denise um i i agree with that but um the surgery also have uh, its own risk and uh, so I don't really think uh, that will be a great idea for losing the weight, for losing weight. And I also think that uh, leave the car at home is a great idea uh, for a people to losing weight because um, instead of uh, using the car, we can uh, walk or, jog or jogging to uh, the destination we want to go like maybe we want to um, buy some groceries and we can walk to the nearest store uh, around our house so when we walk we can burn our fat and uh, lose some weight So as a conclusion, um, I think that joining a gym will be the best will be the best activity to losing our weight because it can help our body to stay healthy and also active by doing the exercise at the gym. How about you, Denise? Uh... For in my opinion, I think uh, cut down cut down on sugar also uh, is one of the effective way 
effective way to lose some weight because uh, if you join a gym but uh, you didn't control your consuming uh, on sugar, it will not show any positive uh, effect on our our on our way to lose some weight. But I think that the most effective way is joining a gym. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Uh, okay, teacher. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. okay, so uh, over the past few decades, sports has been growing bigger and bigger and many people find sports as a source of entertainment. There are many sports in this world such as football, tennis, volleyball and even athletics. There are also many sporting events that people all around the world watch. For example, there are the World Cup, the Olympic Games, and also World Badminton Tournaments. So, there are a few ways for people to watch, for, watch sporting events such as watching it from home or even watching it from the stadium itself. There are pros and cons for each way of watching the sports. If you, if you watch at home, it is much more relaxing and easier as you can save your time and energy by just sitting at your couch and watching it with your family and friends. If you decide to go to the stadium and watch it from there, you can experience the, atmos the atmosphere of different fans who are also there cheering on the players which is actually quite a good experience so as a sports lover myself personally i prefer watching sports from home on a daily basis but during the big games i actually prefer going to the stadium because it gives an amazing experience for me as i am able to meet my favorite players and also um, be in the heat of the moment during the experiences. So that's all for me. Uh, teacher, can you hear me? Uh, okay. Uh, 
there are many types of ways uh, of communicating with a friend. Uh, for me, I think the method that offers the most simplicity and clarity is a method shown in picture 2, which is a phone call. This is because a phone call provides more benefits uh, rather than um, emailing your friend. Uh, the benefits of a phone call is uh, you can easily pass down any information without having to waste time by actually typing uh, write or writing an email. And we'll also be wasting time if if um, if we send an email and then we have to wait for a response and so on. So when having a phone call, you can actually enjoy the conversation and you can finish the topic just just with a phone call. Uh, other than that, if you if we are if we uh, in that type of situation, if we do have lots of questions, I think a phone call is more is more proper and it's more simple because you get to ask questions on the spot and get answers uh, just over there without having to wait uh, for more or without having to wait for an answer and you can get the work done easily other than that the tones of the conversation would be more interesting and exciting because we get to hear each other's voices and we get to hear each other's laughs and share jokes and and we can have a blast just by having on a phone call if an email you would probably not get the joke or if the tone would probably sound a bit lame rather than having to hear that person's voice um, besides that, uh, if you are on a phone call, we get to. It's much more easier to explain uh, a certain topic which is complicated, or we can share any personal stories. Uh, and it's more fun and it's more easier with a phone call because you get to explain it one by one uh, rather than writing down an email. It's quite. Uh, it's a bit difficult for some people to arrange their words uh, in an email. I think that um, an, a, a phone call is much more better than email. Um, so, Serena, what do you think shall Clive do to resolve his problem? I think that Clive should quit his job and start looking for another job. This is because um, if he's unhappy with his present job, he should uh, look for another job because a job is something that you're going to do for a living and if you're not happy with it, uh, you, have to find, uh, you have to find a way to, uh, to make that job more happy and exciting and and we and we actually make you feel happy when you go to work. When you wake up every day, you have something looking forward to. So if he he can start looking for another job that is that, uh, that will make him much more happier. Uh, so that because he's thirty years old, uh, and it would much it would be more easier for him to look for another job in a different place, which will make him more happy. And also, um, and also. Uh, he, he, if he's, if he looked for another job, he could continue uh, d um, doing his job every day without having to deal with more drama, without having to feel unhappy waking up every day. Uh, at least he would feel ha more happier and, the, and he would have much more motivation to do his work. Uh, what about you, Tashi? What do you think Clive should do to solve his problem? I, I, I agree with what you have said. And I also would like to add that Clive could talk to his parents to ask them for some advice as they are actually um, the older people in his life. So uh, as we all know, uh, older people have more experiences in life. So I think it would be better for him to ask some advice and talk to his parents before making a decision. Other than that, he could also ask his colleagues for advice as they are in the same uh, situation, almost the same situation as Clive, and this would uh, help Clive because his colleagues would understand his situation better and also give him the best advice. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher.
share soalan tadi ke teacher? Uh, boleh boleh. Oh, you oh, okay. Yeah. I'm a candidate um, so We will talk about uh, these two animals that we can see in the picture. For the picture one, uh, the animal, uh, the animal that we can see is a fish and the and the second picture shows uh, the home. Uh, the question, uh, what are the, uh, what would be difficult about owning each of these animals? Uh, firstly, I think, uh, firstly I will talk about fish. Uh, I think the fish would be difficult of owning it because of uh, the aquarium require regular maintenance which is we need to changing the water in the tank uh, and cleaning cleaning the filter and cleaning the tank walls to uh, to keep the well-being uh, of our fish uh, so the other furthermore uh, for setting up uh, the tank really takes time uh, at least a week uh, a week or it may take uh, two or three weeks uh, but uh, we still need to do it to prevent the fish to get sick uh, and lastly uh, fish are not interactive as common pets such as cats and dogs uh, Unless it's feeding time, uh, the fish will completely ignore us. Uh, they can understand uh, what we say like cats and dogs. Uh, so next, I will talk about uh, what, would be, what would be difficult about owning uh, the horse. Uh, horse is the powerful, uh, powerful animal that he need to eat a lot of food and uh, need a clean stable. So it will cost, uh, so the cost associated with it can be very high. Uh, other than that, having a horse is a big investment of time because horses are thinkers and they get bored easily. So they need something to do just uh, like people do. So if they are just left in their stock or uh, if they they are just left in their stock, they may exhibit bad habits like pacing and webbing. Uh, they will exhibit bad habits uh, for if they if the if we ignore them too. Mm, that's all for me. Um, next, uh, which of these animals would you prefer to own? Uh, for me, I think I would prefer uh, own a fish rather than a horse because I think it would be much easier uh, for a fish because it doesn't need um, interaction as if I say. Um, and I think uh, it still need uh, a lot of cost to um, own a fish because it needs an aquarium that is a completely uh, different habitat from us, which is in the water. And but mm. it it's still um, not as much as um, own a horse because 
um, owning a horse need a lot of space and cost for their to care them. Uh, I think this helps for me. Uh, the next question, um, what would you would like, what you would dislike about each of these jobs? Uh, okay, uh, the first, uh, photo is about, um, morning the lawn. So I think um, one of the things that I dislike about Mong Delon is um, it is an outside chores, which is we need to, uh, which it is uh, weather is uh, can affect us, um, especially when it is hot outside. So I think I don't like it because <laughs> it might be rain also when we doing the chores. Uh, moreover, I think uh, the moon lower is kind of heavy. So I think it's need a lot of energy to moon the lawn and it would be a tiring chores. Uh, next photo is um, a vacuum. Uh, I think um, one of things that I don't like about vacuum is um it is loud so i think uh, by doing this chart sometimes it can disturb the neighborhood um, other than that uh, it also heavy as the moon lower so it also a tiring um chart and lastly i think a uh, vacuum uh, have a wire that um, sometimes it limit the space we we need to clean up. Like I have to switch switch the plug every time I clean a different section in the house. I think that. Uh, morning. Morning the lawn uh, is it, the job uh, that I would like to do because like Kadi just said, it's too heavy for me and uh, it would be tiring since my home page is too wide. Um, uh, uh, let me start with uh, point first, which is swimming pool. Uh, I think that swimming pool is one of the activities that might be successful for birthday party because uh, kids love uh, to swim and they find swim is uh, they find this uh, they find swim uh, with friends is fun uh, and swimming at pool with friends also encourage our children to swim at an early age. Uh, what do you think, Kadija? Mm, I think uh, swimming pool is a great uh, activities for children. Um, for me, uh, I think with visit from local theater group is also might be successful for a party for children uh, because I think um, most of children enjoy watching fairy tale theater 
uh, especially um, story like uh, Disney princess uh, that they, they might enjoy. Um, uh, I also think that author reading from children's book uh, also can is good for children um, like because they like a uh, fairy tale story and I think it can attract children uh, to read. Uh, what do you think, Ifa? I strongly agree with your statement. Uh, from my point of view, I think uh, Young Olympics will be the successful activities for birthday party too. Uh, Young Olympics can be held during the birthday party. Uh, we can uh, yeah. We can do sports competition competition between kids such as Shaes, uh, Hoopla, Music Chair, and Hoop Adapt Set. Uh, so the winners will be awarded with medals and the rest will be given the goodies. Uh, so from this, uh, we can strengthen the uh, kids between kids' relationships. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, teacher, we start first. Uh, so, uh, for this question, uh, I think I will choose uh, reading to spend my time during uh, on, uh, on Sunday morning uh, because uh, when I spend my time with when I spend my time with reading books uh, I could improve my vocabulary and also grammar other than that uh, I could also widen our knowledge if we reading the books because I can get lots of new information from a uh, newspaper or uh, uh, other the, uh, other book source, uh, other reading sources. And other than that, I think uh, when we reading, when we reading, we could know the latest breaking news in our country and also the other countries too. If we if we spend time with uh, only sleep in the morning at the weekend, we can spend our, our time with our family and it may waste our time. Other than that, if we only Mm, don't do anything as we only sleep on the bed. It will weaken our body as we don't uh, do any vigorous activities to increase our metabolic body. Uh, that's all for me. Um, so for my question, uh, um, for the question, which one do I think is uh, the activities that I uh, that I usually do during my free time? So I choose uh, watching television during my free time because uh, watching tele uh, for example, I can watch television uh, television uh, in news channel because I can keep up to date with local and global news and what's happening on outside world. Uh, uh, such as uh, the evening news or the morning news. Next, uh, if I am watching television uh, for a, in a movie channel, I can uh, watch the movies uh, with my families and friends. 
uh, thus strength, uh, strengthening our bonds together. Uh, the next is if I am watching television uh, in a, in a cooking channel, uh, I, I can uh, especially uh, learn new recipes uh, with my mother and we also can uh, make the uh, recipes together uh, in our house. So uh, uh, in conclusion, during my free time, I would um, choose uh, watching television uh, because it can uh, um, provide me more uh, benefits than uh, playing chess because I can't really play chess, to be honest. Uh, yes, thank you. That's all from me. Uh, me this day. Uh, so for this question, I think that it, uh, the most effective uh, idea to attract more tourists is by cutting the hotel price because uh, it will affordable for people who have low income, especially during this COVID-19. They also want to spend their, uh, their uh, family spend time with their family also uh, at the other other state or other countries. Uh, other than that, uh, it will could also advantage to the uh, the hotels uh, as they can they can get uh, lots of tourists there. Uh, the disadvantage if we cut the hotel price, if the hotel uh, didn't get any uh, any tourists to the hotel at the hotel and it will give big impact to the economy to our country's economy uh, for my second point is we could also build a amusement, uh, amusement park to the uh, to attract more visitors because it's suitable for any age, uh, any ages uh, as there are many activities we can we can do there uh, other than that, if we build an uh, amusement park, we could strengthen uh, our bonding with our family. And also, there are also lots of thrill activities such as uh, roller coaster and um, swimming. Huh. Uh, furthermore, I think we could also, if we build more amusement park, we could get uh, a lot of great moments with our family and have lots of great photos with them as there are many great places to take the picture. Uh, do you agree with me, Irina? Uh, yes, thank you, Valkis. Uh, so for my point, uh, for the question, uh, I would choose uh, building a pedestrian uh, building a pedestrianized town center because um, this uh, this town can provide uh, 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 is a, a vehicle free for uh, for the tourists and it also can improve the road safety because there are no uh, car accidents or motorcycle that happen thus uh, tourists can walk freely on the road without uh, feeling uh, danger uh, next, uh, uh, pedestrian uh, town center can also improve local business because uh, tourists can sightsee uh, in the town while shopping, uh, such as in the uh, restaurant, uh, spending in a local cafe, and open street activities such as uh, children can play kites in the town. Uh, next, for my second point is uh, we can build more parks with um, because uh, the parks can uh, create uh, pro creates outdoor green spaces for our to attract uh, the tourists, and then uh, the parks also provide cheerful environment for everyone because everyone are enjoying what they are doing, especially children. Because uh, uh, we know that park are 
uh, are usually uh, built with uh, are provide with uh, recreational facilities and uh, not not only children but uh, also adults can uh, use the uh, recreational facilities and then um, to build more parks we can uh, also create safe gathering places because there are many families that come to the parks to enjoy their free time not only on holiday and also during um, the evening or in the morning so uh, uh, these are my two these are my points for attracting tourism and so Bartis, uh, what do you think is the most uh, idea that we should agree to attract more uh, tourists? Mm, uh, I think the most effective one to attract more visitors is by building by build more amusement park because we could uh, there is uh, more activities and suitable for any ages and also I uh, to strengthen the bonding of our family. Uh, yes, I do agree with you. And uh, that's all from us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Uh, teacher Ann can eat the egg. Ah, uh, oh, can. Today, uh, I'll be going to uh, talk about different ways of searching a subject. So, uh, there is a picture of a girl uh, who is uh, surfing on the internet for searching uh, some kind of information, while the, uh, the second image is a library picture where people sit and searching for what they want uh, in a book. So, uh, the, the advantages of searching on the computer is, uh, we can get, uh, we can get a lot of information and there is a lot of kind, uh, a lot of, uh, pages and web. Then, uh, other than that, we also can search for information anywhere as we can get uh, we can we have the we have the big range of internet in Malaysia so we can search it anywhere uh, even we are in a train while or we while eating so even we have a last minute task we can do it everywhere uh, other than that we also can uh, we can get a, we can have many information and we can compare the information to get the best uh, uh, to get the best option uh, however there is also a uh, co uh, coins uh, when we searching on the internet which is there is too much information that we don't know the truth even it is can be trust or not uh, and then uh, we also can be confused as 
uh, it has many opinion that might be oppos- opposite uh, to the other opinion. So that will be a, uh, 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 it will be hard for us. Uh, for life, uh, for searching information at the libraries uh, or in a book, uh, the first is we can uh, get a good environment for us to do the uh, searching. Uh, other than that, there are also a varieties of book that we can get the information. Uh, if people say that they, uh, we, uh, the, the information is uh, limited, uh, we get a lot of book in library and all, we also get a librarian to help us that we can search for any kind of book by asking to the librarian. So uh, I think uh, library is also uh, uh, good for us to uh, searching for information. Uh, mm. I think that's it. Okay, um, my, I will be talking about um, two types of accommodation. Um, okay, first, uh, first picture is the tent. <coughs> um, and the second is uh, a resort. I think um, stay by staying in the tent or go camping, um, we can save a lot of money because uh, we just need to spend our money to buy the tent and other equipment. And then um, we got to spend more time with our family or friend that we go camping with because um, in the woods, um, we will limit the gadget usage because uh, we barely can get a full bars of line. So we will just uh, communicate more with our partners in the camping. And of course, we will appreciate the environment more because uh, uh, by camping, we we breathe uh, fresh air uh, from the woods. Um, on the other hand, by staying in a resort, um, it will be a little bit pricey, but of course, it will provi- provide a lot more comfortable place to stay at. The resort is complete with um, full of... Um, Full hospitality and we get uh, full access to the bathroom and we can just uh, call the room service to get our food delivered to our room. We also get a good view from our hotel room and um, we can go um, to the swimming pool and it's like a treat to ourselves by staying in a comfortable room after all the hard work we we already done. So I think that both of the accommodation have their advantages. That's all. Um, meaning that each of us take two points, teacher. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, so I think the most uh, the most uh, things that uh, the uh, married couple can do is uh, buy new computer for everyone. I think computer is uh, an essential for every of them to use in their daily life because uh, uh, basically we use uh, computers to, uh, to do everything. Uh, um, other than that, uh, we uh, the parent also can minimum the money 
by not buying a PlayStation for their uh, young daughters as they can uh, uh, they can play games on the computer. Uh, other than that, it's also important for their daughter to uh, get information by the uh, computer. So I think uh, computer is also uh, vital for uh, for the married couple to do a uh, work and. Uh, I think uh, computer is a good choice to spend the money on. Uh, oh, I I agree on that because uh, computers is a very important thing for us, especially for the uh, two young daughter. Um, but I also think the extension to family home is a good idea because it's a long term thing and they can live in a bigger and much more comfortable house by um, upgrading their house and they don't usually they don't usually like uh, get the chance to um, upgrade their house so i think this is the best uh, opportunity for uh, the married couple to extend their family home mm, yes uh, i think Extension to family home is also a great idea. Uh, uh, other than that, how about swimming pool in the garden? Swimming pool in the garden is also kind of a uh, good idea because the daughter is uh, the the daughter is are growing, so they need a uh, more activity for them to do for their leisure time. And I think swimming is a good uh, good activities uh, for them and uh, make a. Uh, uh, they good in sport. Uh, mm. uh, I I agree on that because I also have always wanted a swimming pool in my own house. Uh, it's good for the uh, daughters. Um, uh, but why don't uh, Gary buy a new diamond ring for Jane? Because uh, he 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 need to treat Jane sometimes and to appreciate her. Uh, for all the hard work she already done for Gary. So I think maybe it's also a good idea to buy a diamond ring. Mm, yes, what uh, do you think the best? I think diamond ring is, all, uh, is a good idea uh, to show, uh, to, for Gary to show his love uh, to Jane. But I think the most, um, the most, is mm, maybe extension to family home because they will mm. living on the home in a long time. Yes, I also agree on that. Thank you, teacher. Uh, Assalamualaikum. So the first question is, I like you to compare the photographs and say what you enjoy about each type of holiday. So from the first picture, I can see it is about a going on a holiday on a cruise ship. So I think one of the many attractions of going on a holiday of a cruise ship is usually cruise ship which would have many attractions such as uh, they would have pool parks or 
indoor theaters that makes the experience very fun. Other than that, usually the the crew or the company would usually prepare a variety of activities that the passengers can do throughout the whole trip. And I think another fun thing is during the whole trip, uh, passengers are take, taken care of 24 seven. So for example, you have food and a whole buffet of many types of food prepared 24 seven and you can ask for service anytime. So to conclude a uh, cruise ship holiday, I think a cruise ship holiday is definitely a relaxing and calm experience with your family. So for the second picture, I believe this is a holiday on this is a holiday of going going on holiday in a city. So I think one of the the main fun things of going on a holiday in a city is the sights you can see. So for example, you can go on a boat ride or a taxi or you could even just walk around the city and you can find many fascinating and picturesque places that you can go. Uh, and besides that, the things you can do in a city are also not limited. So for example, you can this you can visit every corner of the city and you can definitely find something that you can do. So uh, so I, th I think going a uh, holiday on a city would definitely be tiring as you always go to crowded and packed places. But I think that experience is exciting because you get to personally explore the city and go to many different places. Uh, for instance, you can go to the local markets to buy souvenirs or handicrafts from the local from the local people and or you can try out many different cuisines at restaurants and if you're interested you can also go to museums or historical sites to learn about the history of the city or learn about the culture of the people there so i think there are many things that can be done when you go on a holiday in the city that's all from me. Thank you. Um, okay. Um, so, um, I'll be talking about types of uh, different types of home. Now, um, at the first picture, I can see that it's a house. It's a um, terrace house or a um, detached house. So um, the advantage of living in a house like this is uh, it's big and spacious. So um, I'm free to make any um, activities around the house such as um, planting or even I can um, cycle around the house. Um, besides, um, I have lots of space, um, and it, it is also freedom to live in a house like this. Um, besides, as it is, uh, spacious, I can, uh, make my own interior design for my house. But the, um, uh, on the other hand, uh, we can see that, Living in a, a terrace house or a bungalow house, we will have a limited friends in the neighborhood because um, we are uh, we have less chance to meet with uh, people around the neighborhood, mm. and then uh, we will also have the lack of the amenities, um, such as swimming pool and playground. So, um, 
uh, we will uh, living in this kind of house we will be ended up to spend our time uh, just in the house because uh, we didn't get that uh, opportunity to um, meet other people um, in playgrounds or parks okay the second picture is about uh, apartment or uh, living in a flat or condominium um we would um uh, have a great chance to uh, meet people um and then uh, we can easily uh, make friends uh, with everyone around there uh, besides i also feel that uh, living in an apartment is much more safe because there are security guards uh, to protect the um, to protect uh, the place um, but um, nevertheless the house is not uh, that spacious so um, we might feel uh, uncomfortable um, as we cannot uh, free to do anything as it has limited space um, besides as uh, we have uh, a lot of people in our neighborhood uh, we might also uh, disturb by the noise um, during the weekends um, mm, that's all from me sure. Okay, so in my opinion, one of the gifts that would be appropriate for my teacher would be a fireplace clock. So I think a fireplace clock would be a nice decoration for my teacher. And even though it's, it's pretty simple, a fireplace clock is rather can be acquired easily and is very cheap and my, the teacher can definitely definitely benefit from it so Rineta, uh what do you think about any other gifts um i think that um we can i um, we can buy her a pet dog because um it would be a good companion for her um, as she has only um, a daughter so she must be very uh, lonely so I think uh, a pet dog will um, will be a, um, a good companion for her to spend time with um, besides she is not a Muslim so I think um, it's a good choice to give her a pet dog. I see. So, good. So, I think another good choice of a gift is giving the teacher a, an air ticket. So, with an air ticket, the teacher would be free to go on holiday anywhere. So, I think... Uh, a holiday is a very it's a very good gift for the teacher as he or she can take a good rest or spend quality time with, with his or her family. So I think Oh that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Um I also think that uh we can give her a statue. A statue of a beautiful woman and a little girl. Uh, which represent her and her only daughter. 
Um, it can be also used as a, a decoration for uh, their house. But uh, statues are brittle, so it is easily break. So what shall we um, present to her, Ariza Kwe? Mm. I think the best gift would probably be an air ticket because I think nowadays air tickets are relatively cheap and giving the teacher a good holiday would definitely be great for her and gives her a lot of rest and it is a, I think it's a very good sign of our appreciation for her. What do you think? Is it good? Yes, I think it's a great idea too, as she can uh, free up her mind and enjoy her uh, retirement while traveling around uh, other countries. Besides, it, it will also be a great experience for her um, to spend her time uh, in a better way. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Shenda, do you want to share the screen? Yeah, yeah, we can start first. Okay, so I'll be talking about different places to shop for clothes. And I want to elaborate that these two places actually offer you different type of clothes. Uh, what I'm trying to talk about is the like bundle type of shops will usually offer you uh, various kind of clothes for different type of fashion preference and usually the shops uh, like at the mall and the I mean like the pricey pricey clothes like suit like dinner dress something like that so why you think people would choose to shop in these different places i think people will usually shop uh depends on what kind of clothes that they are trying to look for uh i personally shops on both places based on what I'm trying to find uh, such as trousers, jeans or maybe a gown it really depends on what I'm trying to get and I think both places are good and they 
they offer good price depends on what shop do you go and i think there's no there's no good and bad in both places both are okay uh, that's all for me Okay, uh, my, my question, uh, the picture shown, uh, is people having fun together and the question that I get, that I got is, why you believe these people chose to do these activities together? In my opinion, people do activities together to gain more fun because you will feel lonely every time you do things alone. Uh, and based on the pictures, most of the activities they that they did uh, were uh, group activities such as such as playing video games and bowling, which it which is uh need you to do a group work and uh play along with all your friends instead of playing it alone. Uh, and I think people do these activities together to release their stress as spending your time with uh, your loved one is one of the way to less your burden. I think that's all for me. Shenda, do you want to start first? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Why would this idea uh, attract more students? Uh, the first thing is, I think, um, the first point of the idea is offering free Wi-Fi access. I think it will attract students because a lot of students use their uh, gadgets at school uh, for study purpose and also uh, to uh, relax themselves by watching some videos and stuff. So offering free Wi-Fi could make uh, them being more interest interest in going to school and but the precaution i think uh, the school need to uh, do some precautions such as uh blocking some websites uh on the uh for the wi-fi access so that the students will not uh surfing uh, some weird things or maybe illegal websites that could uh, involve them in negative things. What do you think, Alia? Uh, yes, I totally agree with your thoughts. And I will elaborate about flexible online courses. Um, since the pandemic happened, we are learning through online. So I think online classes are actually good in some way because we can attend the class anywhere. And for example, if the students is having any problems or they are working some part-time job for for their family or only for their pocket money, uh, they can manage their time better because they can attend their class online and it is very flexible for them to manage their working time and their studying time. So by that 
choice of learning. I think the students will be more interested in attending the school and be a good student. Okay, I think uh, the next point of uh, a way to attract more students at school um, is providing night classes. As we know now, uh, in this pandemic, most of students are really capable to focus on their class. Some of them might be having problems uh, do, due to the change of surrounding and the learning style. So providing night classes will be great for the students to, for them to uh, restudy what they have been studying before so that they will be more prepared more prepared for the upcoming exam. Okay, next I will be elaborating. Uh, installing projectors in every classroom. I think this action is taken to make um, PDPR, eh, PDPC uh, more enjoyable for the students since the teachers will be using many kind of medium for their learning session. And I think that kind of works because, um, for example, when the teachers are using their laptops and using websites for learning session, I think it makes uh, students more excited and the students are also most likely to not fall asleep during the class. What do you think? Mm, I think uh, installing projectors is good for the uh, as the way to attract students, but we need to take precaution as uh, maybe the, there will be a problem uh, in the wiring systems or what that that can cause fire because not every student is good and we we are we can't uh, predict the future okay the last idea is that uh, can be used uh, for to attract students is help students to find a part-time job I think uh, it is a good idea because um, as, as, uh, if the school find a, find a part-time job for the student, they would know the, uh, the suitable job for the students and a right time so that uh, their life will be balanced between job and work. Um, so, Alia? Which one of these ideas uh, seems to be the best for the school? I think the best uh, idea is offering free Wi-Fi access. I agree with you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you, teacher.